everyone, we are at the Cracking the Wellness Code, a beautiful event organized by none other than Mr. Narain Bakshi. He is also the founding member of ICC, the India Community Center, and is currently serving as trustee and board member of ICC, which is located in Milpitas, California. Welcome, sir, to Yo India TV with me, Jaslin Khanuja, and it's absolutely a pleasure to learn that you have been supporting Indian community in a big way. ICC is one of the prime locations where some of the major events related to Indian culture are held and Indian Americans come here almost every day for so many activities that ICC is organizing on a day-to-day -day basis besides the periodic events. So tell us about how this idea got floated, when was this started and who were all the brilliant minds behind it and raise it to this level. So the history is that the two young people, Anil and Gautam Godhwani, approached me in 2002. I did not know them. I used to live far away in Orinda. And one day they called me and said, we want to come and meet you. And their request was that our mom had said, you must do something for community. And the reason we are here is we have heard that you had started building a community center in Cleveland, Ohio. Mm -hmm. So we couldn't find anybody that could help us. So we have come to you because we are just techies. How do we build a community center is something that we would love to have you help us. Mm -hmm. So that's the genesis. And then fortunately we decided that it has to be India centric. So we got Talat Hassan involved, Kamil Hassan involved, and five, six of us became the original founding team. So uh, this is for me a dream come true. In Cleveland, we built a community center. That is the number one. But it did not flourish as much as here, mainly because we made some mistakes. Number one mistake was we thought everything could be volunteer as well. But we realize how do you run a center from 7 a.m. till 10 p.m. every single day only with volunteers. So this time we decided to run it professionally, properly managed, yet community supporting it, mm -hmm. community board. Mm -hmm. So I have served for 15 years. Uh, number one job that I have been doing with the rest of the team is to make sure right people come on the board. So I'm delighted. I have, uh, my signature thing that I love to see here is our senior program, our Sevathon that brings all of the people together. And right now, the wellness movement has become my purpose for life. Hey everyone, we have the Kaiser Permanente CEO, Bernard Tyson, right here with us at Cracking the Wellness Code, a beautiful wellness movement by India Community Center, ICC in Milpitas. Welcome, sir, to Yo India TV with me, Jasleen Khanuja. And how's your feel at this event? Oh, it's fantastic. I think what you're doing is amazing. It ties to our strategy of not just having a focus all on our members, critically important of course but also our members comes from communities and we are a part of those communities our workforce comes from those communities and so as how do we integrate everything from a holistic standpoint and this today is the tangible example of what we're talking about Awesome. And today this beautiful event is happening in ICC Milpitas. From morning till evening, there have been so many motivational speakers and leaders like the Kaiser CEO, uh, Bernard Tyson, who have made it to this event. You know, some of the very prestigious people, some of the name holders in their respective fields, so many physicians and so many uh, health heroes. One, you being yourself, being a use case who lost weight by changing his lifestyle altogether. So this is a beautiful event. What motivated you to support this event and also share your own story on the health and wellness side? So it's a very interesting story. From nowhere, uh, I got a call from Dr. Vij, Pankaj Vij, who practices in Pleasanton. And he says, Mr. Bakshi, I would like to invite you 
to please come and speak with my patients mainly because i want to present a use case somebody who has done it and i heard from other people that you have lost 85 pounds and have reversed all of your diseases diabetes sleep apnea hiatal hernia and on and on and on so somehow i decided to go and i saw something great that they were doing at kaiser and at the end of that session uh, dr vij takes me out for lunch and said mr bakshi i have a big dream but i have no idea how to achieve it i'm just a doctor but my dream is too big i want to impact millions of people you guys are entrepreneurs you know how to scale things can you help me so i told him i said look i don't want to lead such a thing it should be led by doctors but i can be your helper so then they said we want you to be our mentor so since that time which is only about a year ago uh, the only role i have been playing is two roles one is i serve on the icc so i represent the board in this movement and of course support the team that has been built led by number of people now multiple facets with partnerships with all the premium organizations of bay area uh, i went to the open heart surgery and it was really quite an experience uh i got home to, uh, after uh i guess about a week or so in the hospital and everything and i i looked in the backyard of my home and uh i looked at the green grass and as i describe it to this day i tell people it was the most beautiful green i've ever seen in my life now it, the grass was the same grass right but my perspective has changed and so from that day i have created and i practice what i call uh, finding a beautiful moment every single day and, and so every single day i find something that stands out as a beautiful moment uh and then i take a mental picture of it uh every day of my life yesterday for example i was doing a walk through of our uh, pharmacy warehouse in southern california i went down there yesterday morning uh, to see all the great work that they're doing and to see the technology and everything and i had a, a gentleman who they selected to do a portion of the tour uh with me he had um, he has been with Kaiser Permanente for 26 years so when i when i walked up to him uh he was waiting on me and he had the stand and he was a bit nervous and i shook his hand and i said i when our taxi said i know sir <laughs> and so i said so tell me what you do so he was so articulate in describing his job And, and the beautiful moment for me was the pride that he showed me in the work that he did, right? And so when we finished, I said to him, I said, uh, Mr. So and So, I said, this is just wonderful, and I can't tell you uh, how proud I am that you have decided to be at Kaiser Permanente for 26 years. And he looked at me and he said, Can I tell you something? And I said, sure. He said, sir, in the 26 years of my life, this is absolutely the best day ever at Kaiser Permanente that I get to tell you, yes. the CEO of this company, what I do every day. That's all I'm feeling right now. And that was my beautiful moment. And this is. My it was a pleasure to get all those insights from you we look for more preventive care and uh, keep on thriving what's your message to all the yo india tv viewers just keep on thriving <laughs> i think i'll end it there thank you very much thank you sir all right hi this is bernard tyson watch me on yo india tv Hey everyone we are at Cracking the Wellness Code a beautiful movement organized by none other than Som Chatterjee thank you 
and um, this has been a very successful event it's a two day event we had some of the leading speakers in the healthcare industry who gave beautiful tips on a healthy lifestyle and right eating and uh, som has been driving this uh, great effort it's a huge endeavor to bring together so many participants on board and uh, get them into a healthy lifestyle and you also served some of the yummy food to support the healthy lifestyle so give us some insights into the event so thank you uh, jasmine for the kind words so uh, we started this crack the wellness code last year july and in less than one year uh, we have done four events we just finished the fourth episode of that uh, uh, the series of events that we have done and we are now in midst of a wellness movement that's what we call it it's not about just events right so events is a means and not the end so we built a online platform on wellness and what we have accomplished in less than one year is to build an ecosystem and uh, that ecosystem is really helping us to you know uh, come out with a whole lot of initiatives under this wellness movement umbrella uh, now just to give you some examples uh, we have for example uh, doctors uh, of variety of specialization who have joined us and these are doctors spread over different generations okay uh, they bring in seed money they bring in expertise they bring in lots of new initiatives into this movement we have nutritionists uh, nutritionists we have dietitians um, we have a lot of health tech people who are working with us entrepreneurs and what uh, uh, is very unique to us is the health hero concept which uh, uh is really inspiring and these are people who have either had remarkable reversal of their health or been always healthy who can really relate and connect with some of the other aspiring um, people who are part of this wellness movement to see how best they can actually uh, uh you know adopt some of the best practices which they have really accomplished over the years uh, we focus on you know uh, scientifically proven data so that's something very important that we do uh, and just to summarize the wellness movement we have conferences we have workshops uh, we are now going to start a series of webinars and of course uh, uh, along with that we are going to be more local now doing meetups in different parts of the bay area so the problem is that not most of us are all of human civilization is driven by this individual consciousness and not seeing that you and me and everybody and there's a unity there there is interdependence and what are happening all these chronic diseases are mainly because those 20 persons think that if they have a dog well then things will be better but that's not happening to happen so i think one of the things if i can uh, share with you is to see that we are one body and whatever happens in amazon what happened here what happens to me is going to happen to you and if we can get that consciousness maybe we can change the course of this just the destruction the way we are going Hello everyone we are at the cracking the wellness code a beautiful event by Dr Pankaj Vijay and group and we have none other than a beautiful team member Seema Giri who was one of the health heroes today surrounded by a lot of people who were trying to see the improvements Seema has made to her lifestyle and uh, contributing to the motivation of other people for a healthier and better lifestyle so you being a health hero tell us a little about your achievements on the health side and how are you able to motivate so many people well you know just seen about 21 25 years ago i was struggling with a lot of inflammation and pain and i went to 11 doctors and 11 doctors told me that i was a hypochondriac because the tests that they would do would always come out normal so um it was a long struggle and finally the 12th doctor believed me and gave me a diagnosis of fibromyalgia and onset of rheumatoid arthritis and uh they put me on certain medications and every time i had a side effect or another issue they would add more and it went up till 25 30 medications mm -hmm. and then 
but the turning point for me was when I had my son and I couldn't hold him. I couldn't nurture him at all because I was bedridden by this time, despite being on all this medication. So that's when I decided to go inward and listen to my own inner gut and wisdom and started getting on a healthier path where I was eating, I changed my diet to whole food nutrition, removed processed food. Um, then because I was, I was doing that, I was able to exercise and then I added mindset and spirituality. So it was the integration of these four things and that's what I teach to my coaching clients using this framework and I bridge the gap between the doctor's care and mind, body, spirit, holistic practices. Um, and how I'm motivating others is by being an example myself, being involved in events like Crack the Wellness Code and I also do my own several workshops which are virtual and in person. In India, we call it as the Shapa. There are three kinds of Shapa. That is the Ashana or Anna Shapa, that is a city only in a chair and eating. Second one is Asana Shapa, sitting on a chair that is a human being is not, not supposed to sit. And the third one is Visarjana Shapa. You sit on a chair and poo. <laughs> Active sitting for a human being is sitting like a pro like this. This is how human beings were sitting. And that allows you the three activities. This is indeed the Stira Sukha Masanam, Yoga Sutra said. What is it? You sit here in this position and eat. You sit like this, it is very active Stira Sukha Masanam. And finally, you release the tension of your puborectalis muscle and you sit and poop like a pro. <laughs> Okay. Hello everyone, we are at the Cracking the Wellness Code, a beautiful event organized by the ICC for wellness. It's a movement, it's a whole concept and a part of this movement today at ICC Milpitas are Dr. Naras Bhatt and Dr. Kusum Bhatt. Dr. Naras Bhatt is one of the co-founders of the famous South Asian Heart Institute right here in Silicon Valley. Welcome doctors, you spoke about um, some of the key movements uh, related to uh, sitting and standing and why sitting should always be prohibited, although that's not uh, possible um, and you've given examples, we need to drive car and we need to do some of the important things when we sit. Right. So um, where do these key principles derive from? Are you going back to the Ayurveda concept that India had in ancient times? Or is it an outcome of uh, any uh, modern scientific uh, research? All wisdom came from ancient times. It was Mark Twain who once said, the ancients have stolen our best ideas. What it means is, sharira madhyam hi kalu dharma sadhanam. It is said in Sanskrit. What it, then we have to be active. Human being is not meant to be sitting. It took us uh, 200 years of the last 200 years to really uh, make the habit of sitting on a chair and before that we were sitting on the floor and uh, that's called active sitting. In India we say sthira sukha mazanam. That means uh, that is the perfect posture of sitting which makes you comfortable and uncomfortable, sthira and asthira at the same time while you are sitting. Dr. Kusum also helps you to stay away from anger. Kop Bhavan mein pravesh karne ki anumati aapko nahi hai jab tak Dr. Kusum aapke saath hai. Let's learn from her about anger management. Um, we have done a research, this was done about 20 years ago, we have done a research how anger not only kills you, anger what happens to your heart when you are angry. There was a research done that being angry makes your ejection fraction which is a pumping power of the heart go down and we took it further and he said if the ejection fraction or the uh, pumping power goes down by the anger, how can we improve it? And then we did a 21-day program in our in our clinic 
and then treating these patients who are, who had not only ha have anger problems, they had uh, heart disease problem, and we we treated them, and then we did before and after. We did the using the several methods. One of them is echocardiogram bef before we started the program, and then after the treatment of 21 days, we did the uh, e e ejection fraction test again using the echocardiogram we found statistically significant improvement by doing the anger uh, management. So let's take the grandma. Uh, she is going to the toilet every single day and the toilet has a small device inside that is measuring 11 to 12 different diagnostic tests. Today those diagnostic tests are being done in the lab. So that the toilet with the urine and the feces going in is actually measuring what are the, the tests, creating algorithms of what those test results mean, connecting that to her food that she's eating, to the sleep that she's having, the exercise that she's having, and being able to give her and her family and her care team information back of what that means. Now this product that I'm talking about, I can't name it right now, but it is right now in pilots. And the goal is to make it under, under $100 and put it out in every single toilet for someone who's over 50 years of age. One of the big things that we do at Frost and Sullivan is really look at solutions. Because at the end of the day, you know, we're very passionate of how much we want to change the world. And in, one of, in many of the interviews that I've done with patients over the last 20 years that I've been working, and especially elderly patients, all of them say that they never want to die in a hospital, in a hospital bed, they want to die at home. So one of the big movements we have started in the healthcare community is what we call aging in place, how you can get old in your own home and you don't need to go to a long-term care facility or a hospice. And I think that's one of the most important things that we need to look at now because we have a large percentage of our population in this country, 25%, that are going to be over the age of 65. And those numbers are going up every day with the baby booming population. So how do we go about creating an environment uh, in the home that is safe, that is, that is positive, and provides the energy that an aging person needs? So here are examples that we've taken in terms of safety and security. There are a lot of products that are already available. For example, if you're talking about a patient who has dementia, who has uh, Alzheimer's, there are a lot of ways that you can create checks and balances so that the patient doesn't leave the house and wander around. So there are already products and sensors that are available. Similarly, if, if you have someone who has uh, Parkinson's and they're using a stove, it's so unsafe, or uh, you know, co uh, cooking something. So all of this can be created in the home to create safety. The other big thing that I, I believe today that is plaguing this country is loneliness. In fact, I think loneliness is the number one chronic disease today. It's not diabetes, it's not high blood pressure, it's loneliness. And we need to do much more in terms of addressing loneliness because there is a huge uh, correlation between mental health and physical health. And it's a symbiotic relationship where one affects the other. Dr. Pankaj Vij is leading the effort in lifestyle medicine, particularly internal medicine in Kaiser Permanente, which is the largest consortium of uh, healthcare under the managed banner uh, in the United States. So Dr. Witch, this has been a very successful event, a two-day event where so many people have made it and found it very, very useful. We have uh, gathered some rave reviews about the event and um, so many prestigious speakers and live use cases, practical examples of how to live a better lifestyle. So nothing can be better, you know, we are all aiming towards wellness. It's a beautiful movement. How did you get started with the idea? Uh, yes, it's really exciting. Uh, this is actually our fifth event, mm -hmm. sold out events every single time. We had over 300 people today. And we started just a year ago. It was actually my effort to look for health heroes, people in the community that have taken charge of their own health, identifying the root causes of their illness and then reversing it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I started with just a handful of people that were really passionate and excited to spread the message. Mm -hmm. And we said it needs to go beyond just a few of us. We need a platform 
where we can educate, inspire, mm -hmm. and inform people to make better choices. Mm -hmm. And really when you get to it, it's quite simple. The solutions are quite simple. These diseases are man-made. We have a choice in the matter. And if we can inform people to make the right choices and make it easy for them, we can really make, it, make an impact in this epidemic of chronic disease that we're in the midst of. Awesome. And um, similar to that, you have written a book, Turbo Metabolism, a very well-known book, a best-selling book. And uh, people have been discussing about um, turbo metabolism based on what you have bent down. So give us some insights into the content of the book. So the content of the book is essentially very much in line with my message, mm -hmm. which is very much in line with this uh, mega event that we are hosting. Mm -hmm. It's focusing on the master levers of health which is what we do with our f feet, mm -hmm. forks, and fingers, right? Feet is exercise, forks is what we eat, mm -hmm. fingers is taking in toxins from the environment, whether we're smoking, drinking alcohol, taking other environmental pollutants into the body. Mm -hmm. And the other three are very simple as well. They're the three S's, sleep, mm -hmm. stress, and social connections. Mm -hmm. So if you can master these six things, mm -hmm. you can restore the body. The body wants to help you. Nature has made it so that we want to go back to that default setting of being healthy and whole and having a good life. And it's all about being the best version of yourself. The more people fast, the easier it is for you to fast. The more people exercise, the easier it gets to exercise. You're going to find a whole lot of correlation between exercise and fasting. Actually. Insulin is a hormone that draws sugar from the bloodstream into the cells. You need sugar. That's your main fuel. If you don't drive it from the bloodstream into the cells, it builds up in the bloodstream. And what do we call that? Diabetes. diabetes. That's what diabetes mellitus says. Diabetics make insulin. In fact, they make more insulin than non-diabetics. It just doesn't work. Because there's something resisting it working. Insulin resistance is caused by what? Well, it's actually not exactly just that. It's caused by the diet that makes you fat. It's the diet that makes you fat. Because think about it. If you're obese and you're diabetic, do you have to lose all the fat to normalize your blood sugar? No. Your blood sugar level starts to normalize long before those extra fat stores have gone away. You know, fat itself isn't a bad thing. Fat is the consequence of energy storage. You're designed, especially if you're a woman, you're designed as an energy conserving fat storage device. Because if you're a female, you have to survive a period of vulnerability called pregnancy. Men don't have babies, thank goodness. <laughs> if men had babies, our species would never have survived. I can guarantee you, because you have to have an average of 2.2 births per couple in order to sustain a population. If men had the babies, there never would have been a second birth. <laughs> no male ever would have gone through a second birth. That's it. One birth, you're out. The species would have died in 20 generations. Okay? There would have been 12 babies born on the planet a year. And, and, and it's not like women. Women, you know, they'll squat down in the field, have the baby 20 minutes later, they're back working. No. Men, lifetime retirement. <laughs> you go on the TV, tell us about the time you had the baby. Oh, let me tell you. It would be a whole different world. Women have estrogen. Estrogen is a fat storage hormone. Men have testosterone, a fat burning hormone. Men, women lose an average of two pounds a week when they do everything right. Men lose three pounds a week. Do men lose 50% more weight because they're smarter? No, no. More disciplined? They work harder? No! They have testosterone. If you inject women with testosterone, what happens? They lose their fat. Hey everyone, we have the CEO of True North Health Center, Mr. Alan Goldhammer, right here with us at Cracking the Wellness Code. It was a great speech that we just heard from you. Thank you. How was your experience at the event? That's great. It's, it's great to see people that have already a predisposed interest. I think um, that one of the advantages of trying to teach people a whole plant food diet is if they're already used to eating some whole plant foods. Mm -hmm. And so unlike uh, many people in our culture that don't eat any fruits or vegetables, mm -hmm. traditional Indian fare takes advantage of lentils and vegetables. And so all we have to do is get rid of the chemicals that are added to food that are making people fat, sick, and miserable. So we take away the salt, we take away the sugar, we take away the oil, but what's left is the actual whole foods. Mm -hmm. And I think that we have a, a higher degree of acceptance in people that are used to eating vegetables. Awesome. And how do we lure the craving for junk? 
Well, one of the reasons people have cravings is because their blood sugar levels plummet when they get exposed to refined carbohydrates as their insulin levels go up, driving their sugars down. Their brain tells them that they're, that they're deficit. As soon as you go on a whole plant food diet free of salt, oil, and sugar, the blood sugar levels begin to stabilize and the cravings begin to mi become mitigated. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And uh, your therapeutic medicine is very popular. In fact, fasting has its advantages and we just learned that water fasting is also very important and there is one example where someone got uh, cured from stage 3 cancer uh, because of the water fasting. So give us some insights into that. Well, a lot of people are sick today as a consequence of dietary excess and they develop the diseases of dietary excess and that includes heart disease and diabetes and things like lymphoma. Mm -hmm. And so it's not surprising that fasting presents an opportunity for the body to do what it does best and that's try to heal itself. Mm -hmm. And it does it more rapidly in fasting than it does in some other states. And mm -hmm. so when we remove the dietary excess, the body's natural healing properties mm -hmm. are allowed to have have full reign and the results are often very dramatic as we were able to demonstrate in some of our published papers. Mm -hmm. But you know keeping the body humidified at all times is something that I have seen is recommended every time even if uh, we do a marathon uh, we should uh, not deprive ourselves from water. Body needs water all the time. It keeps. To, it needs to be hydrated. Yes. So, what's your take on that concept? Well, de dehydration is actually a major compromising factor of health. In fact, probably one of the real major breakthroughs in modern medicine was the ability to maintain hydration with IV fluids. Mm -hmm. The idea that if you could keep a person alive long enough so the immune system could react to the infection, mm -hmm. whatever, that would be helpful, and it certainly has proven so. In fact, today, you know, one of the most helpful things that physicians do for uh, critically ill patients is maintain hydration. Mm -hmm. And so obviously we don't want to get to that point where we need IV hydration, we want to do it with oral hydration and that's why drinking water and eating a water rich diet, mm -hmm. especially one rich in fruits and vegetables is going to be so health promoting. Awesome. So you know blood pressure and uh, diabetes, these are two very common problems that we see particularly in the South Asians and you have uh, some nice uh, research done on both of these issues and um, you know you have some beautiful findings. So would you like to share some with our viewers please? Yeah, well, high blood pressure, one of the contributing factors to high blood pressure is a high sodium diet, mm -hmm. high animal fat diet. Mm -hmm. And what we've done is we published a study where we took 174 consecutive patients and analyzed the effect of fasting and diet, and we were able to normalize the blood pressure of 174 people. Mm -hmm. The idea is that if you take essential hypertension and you do a water fast until the blood pressure is normal and then adopt a whole plant food SOS free diet, you can sustain that in virtually all people. Mm -hmm. So high blood pressure turns out to be a highly treatable condition if people are willing to adopt an aggressive diet and lifestyle approach to it. Awesome. So any message to you in the TV viewers? Yeah, my message is that health results from healthful living. And healthful living includes diet, sleep, and exercise. If people want to get healthy, they have to pay the price. And that's adopt a healthy diet, which we believe is a whole plant food diet that's free of salt, oil, and sugar. Engage in regular appropriate exercise mm -hmm. and uh, enjoy their life. Awesome. And thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Hi, I'm Alan Goldhammer. You can see me on Yo India TV. We are going to introduce you to a person called Madan Kataria. Okay? So you'll get enough time to Google him, find out more about him, etc. Because we cannot give you everything about him in a few minutes. So we'll have a 10 minutes laughter yoga by Madan Kataria. Okay? Now, he is the founder of the global laughter movement. Okay? And he's going to talk about it in the video, so I don't want to take up your time talking about that. But laughter can do a lot of things. I'll just give you one example and we'll see a video which will also tell you his laughter yoga is being used in hospitals in Philippines for cancer patients. Okay, So that's enough about laughter. Please laugh it away. And I think this is a nice way of, uh, you know, taking this uh, entire event to the next level. So. Let's do it once again. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Are you ready? Stretch your arms, take long deep breath, hold it, hold it. 
Sanjeev Chopra, brother of Dr. Deepak Chopra, right here with us in Silicon Valley for a beautiful Cracking the Wellness Code. It's a movement happening right here in ICC Milpitas. It's one of the kickoff events today. And Sanjeev Ji just gave a very wonderful talk about something that everyone wants to enjoy, everyone wants to cherish in their life, which is none other than happiness. So let's focus our interview with Dr. Sanjeev Chopra on happiness. Welcome, sir, to Yo India TV with me, Jasleen Khadunja. And first of all, let me know how is your experience this time in the Bay Area? My experience as always has been very wonderful, mm -hmm. so nurturing, amazing hosts, Pankaj and Mini Vij, Pankaj's parents, Pankaj's son, mm -hmm. and meeting lots of amazing, accomplished um, philanthropic people, people who inspire me with their work. And you are yourself an inspirational speaker. We know you for the way you motivate people through your lectures, through your books. I believe you have written 10 books. So give us some insights. I think I'm very fortunate that I grew up uh, with parents and grandparents who were amazing storytellers. So both my brother and I, I think, learned the art of storytelling at a young age. Mm -hmm. And I think everything in life is storytelling. If you can tell a good story, whether it's leadership or talking about happiness, then it's an amazing experience for both the person telling the story and the person listening to the story. As long as the listeners are avid listeners, right? Yes. <laughs> so, for the benefit of the viewers, what are the key points for being happy in life? What are the do's and don'ts? So actually, my research and my reflections and what I've written about in the book, the two most important days, how to find your purpose and live a healthy and happy life, which I co-authored with a friend and colleague, Gina Welch. She's our Associate Dean of External Communications at Harvard Medical School. Mm -hmm. Is that the happiest people on this planet have four traits in common. First, they have a cadre of good friends. Your friends are your chosen family. Friend is a gift you give to yourself. Second is ability to forgive. If you hold bitterness or rancor in your heart, you cannot be happy. Nelson Mandela spent 27 years in prison. And when he's released, he's asked the question, Mr. Mandela, do you have a resentment against your captors? He said, I have no bitterness, I have no resentment. Resentment is like drinking poison and then hoping it will kill your enemies. It will only kill you. So friends, forgiveness. The third is doing anything for others. Charity, mentoring, volunteer work making others happy. One of the best ways to be happy is to make others happy. So three S, friends, forgiveness for others. Fourth one is gratitude. And if you express gratitude on a regular basis, you'll be happy. But in order for us to have sustained happiness, 
we have to find our purpose and live it. And we can all do that. You can reflect and it'll come to you or you witness something horrific, negative, jolting and you have the courage, the love, fortitude, grit to say, I'm going to make a difference here. So Mark Twain once famously said, the two most important days in your life are the day you're born and the day you find out why. What's your purpose in life? Okay, I'm Dr. Sanjeev Chopra. I just did a wonderful interview with Jocelyn on Yo India TV. If you get a chance, watch it. I don't think you'll be disappointed. We're going to make the dressing. We're going to use the vitamins here. And instead of using the mayonnaise based dressing or oil, oil dressing, we're going to use cashews. So these are just raw, unsalted cashews. And they're in some water that we're soaking so they're nice and soft. And then I'm going to add some other things, such as lemon juice, which I already have measured out here. A little bit of fresh lemon juice. We're going to add a little bit of garlic, fresh garlic, yummy. And uh, a little bit of, a lot of basil, because that's what goes in pesto, pasta, basil. So this is just two ounces of basil leaves. And I'm going to throw this in as well. Everybody's going to like this. I'm just going to mix that up. Oh, yummy. Yum, yum, yum. Hello everyone, we are at Cracking the Wellness Code, a beautiful event happening at ICC Mill Peters and we are with none other than Mrs. Anuradha Jagdish, who is one of the sponsors, trustees and board members, wife of Mr. B.V. Jagdish, who is a serial entrepreneur. She has been leading the team with beautiful ideas, initiatives, innovative ideas and motivation besides being a grand sponsor. Welcome ma'am to Yo India TV with me Jasleen Khanuja. It's an honor and a pleasure to meet you and um, you've been supporting such beautiful events with beautiful social causes, connecting Indians to their roots. So tell us a little more about the social responsibilities of the business which you are uh, doing with Mr. Jagdish. First and foremost, ICC has a beautiful senior program where it brings together seniors both in Milpitas and Cupertino. Mm -hmm. They uh, gather four to five days a week. Uh, there's great camaraderie, they, you know, they all have a, it gives them more meaning to interact with their peers, to connect with people who uh, are from India from the similar times and um, it's a home away from home for them over here. So they really enjoy, so people, I have spent last more than 10 years interacting with the seniors in uh, Cupertino, Milpitas, and it's a lot of fun to be uh, with them. They're super knowledgeable. They are doctors, lawyers, people who have been administrators earlier, and uh, they have a wealth of knowledge, and it's wonderful to share their experiences and be part of that community. And uh, so ICC does a great job of, of providing a home away from home for the seniors. Uh, any message to the viewers uh, on the occasion of this wellness event? So come with your friends and family, this is a great health and wellness event, you learn so much you know, about healthy lifestyle, having a, you know, uh, leading a, you know, a lifestyle which prevents diabetes, blood pressure, uh, you, know, um, you know, how you can have a better um, diet, how you, know, you can practice a, a lifestyle with, uh, fit, you know, with including uh, fitness. So learn from famous uh, people who have been experts in this field. It's so easy to have access to this knowledge when you participate in this event. So leverage the wonderful programs ICT India Community Centre is putting together for you and uh, benefit from it. Awesome. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Anuradha Jagdish. Watch me on Yo India TV.
what was the best part you enjoyed? You know, Justine, I'll say this, today's conventional medicine has a pill for every ill we have. Mm -hmm. So I'm so happy that through this uh, conference that we had over two days, we learned meditation and everything else. And how to eat right mm -hmm. helped all of us. But the best part, I think, I would say was the fasting mm -hmm. from True Health. Mm -hmm. uh, how fasting can help most of our problems, which uh, I, I'm completely in disbelief right now mm -hmm. that uh, they have all these research to prove you not only you can cure your diabetes and high blood pressure which mm -hmm. which is a no-brainer you lose weight you lose all that but they are able to cure some tumors mm -hmm. and some eye problems and ev almost everything a person with 30 pills a day could go to zero pills a day after about a month or six weeks of their treatment. Mm -hmm. Treatment is no f eating actually so I thought that is as natural as it gets for uh, for today's medicine. You know, in today's medicine, most of the patients at 70 are on 20 to 30 pills. So I think that was, for me, the best thing, the fasting treatment. Awesome. And uh, what about you? What was the best part? I attended only the fasting session and I really liked it. I like more about it is, uh, uh, it is based upon uh, SOS diet and uh, as she said, uh, it cures uh, uh, diabetes, diabetes 1, 2, and uh, uh, also uh, thyroid and many other diseases. So I'm really impressed and I would recommend my friends and family to uh, try it out. Thank right. you so much and keep enjoying. Thank you. Thank you, Jocelyn. Watch us on Yo, Yo India, India TV. TV. So we now are at the cusp of a one-year-old startup. We have invested almost $100,000 in building it the year, created an ecosystem, and we are now ready for a much bigger thing to impact a million people in the next three to five years. And any final message to Yo India TV viewers? Thank you Yo India for doing such a good job in taking care of the community, for taking the time to do this public service announcement. Let's all work together so we can do the best version of ourselves. And if you can take good care of yourself, that's the most profound way in which you can take care of your family and the rest of the community and to make the world a better place. <laughs> Any final message, Som, to the viewers? Well, I would say that uh, you know prevention is the best thing. Adopt a disease-free life and take charge of your health before it, it gets late. <laughs> Hello, I'm Naren Bakshi. I am founding team member of India Community Centre and a mentor for the wellness movement team. Watch me on Yo India TV. You'll love it and you'll learn from it. Hi, this is uh, Som. You're watching Yo India TV. I would like to invite you to some of our future events. Bye.